Hi guys, welcome back to the XCOM project. Uh, one thing I just wanted to start off today was I got this request uh, for UFO power sources. You you get three, um, if I give away three of them, I get a reward of almost $300. Not doing that. Because I don't have very many and they're not very, uh, let's just say, plentiful resources. I have like plenty of other crap I can sell if I really need to. One of the things I will do, though, is uh, before I begin, I did buy some uh, Phoenix cannons. Because uh, I'm have i starting to have trouble u with UFOs. So I figure the rest of them I might as well put on right now. Because they, they take like 24 hours to arm. So there you go. Uh, we're totally ready to go. Oh, and also I, I fucked up something. Um, <laughs> I realized this too after. Uh... I think it's South Africa. I put I have put capacity. ships into. Oh, sorry, sorry, South America. South America. I put ships. I, I put two interceptors into. I have no satellites there right now. There's no fucking point in me doing that. I panicked because I thought I'd been neglecting uh, interceptors, but I forgot I didn't actually put any satellites in there. I didn't check. I thought I had satellites everywhere, but apparently not. Well. Yeah, okay, whatever. You know, Mike Lad, whatever. That's how I roll. So, uh, should we do Mexico today is the question that we are asking. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Let's, let's, let's get more engineers. Fuck it. Engineers, here we come. So, who do we have? Uh, Sh Mr. Shiv, uh, Triple Strike, Volkov, uh, Chang is still here, and you know what? I don't see any reason to change his team. I know I got the upgrade for the officer officer school. I know I'm still taking a very long time. Oh, that's yeah. Fuck that. Okay. Well, that solves that problem because <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, I could I could possibly get that, and then it's just like it's thirty seven dollars. I got enough. I thought I wouldn't have enough money for that. Okay, so we can either have Nonners with us or we can start bringing along someone else. Let's have Nonners. And you know what? Uh, I have OCD, so watch this. Uh, okay. Snipers in the middle. With, uh, heavies on this side and supports on this side. We're all ready to go. Yeah, I'm content with this. Let's go! By the guy who picked SGT Dan is pissed off whenever I call him SGT Dan. Because apparently it's Sergeant Dan, which is a reference to, uh, uh, Saving Private Ryan. That was the... That was the guy who lost the limbs in the movie and stuff. Guess that's the Going joke. Putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Operation Bleeding Pipe. Pipe is a go. Pipe. I'm dyslexic. What can I say? So we're down at a construction site for whatever reason. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. A lot of this is just crap cover. Uh, I could go up here, or I could just kind of chill out here. Now, my first move should always be my farthest one, so I'm going to move this guy up here. And we have some enemies. Contacts. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. He's in half cover. Okay, we got an 85 there. Okay, so we, we have one pistol shot. Uh, also, my sniper has the same shot. Okay, we are definitely laying down some smoke on him. And we have an RPG angle here. Let's see, do we have a close... Uh, who's Who else has an RPG? Let's see if he can get a shot off. Like, That's possibly kind of nicer. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, what this will do is this will just completely fucking wreck their cover. And it'll also leave me open to do some attacks. So we have two RPGs, here's one. Wow, that... Oh god, he's, he's mad. I didn't mean to make you angry. Uh... Uh, okay, Sniper, what's your chance to hit now? Much better. You still missed that, okay. 
And you don't have double tap yet. Fucking fantastic. You know, I'm almost inclined to go and, uh... Well... We could RPG the other ones, but I don't know what the hell else is on this map. Kind of regretting moving him up this far. Okay, let's move this guy all the way here, and let's see what kind of shots we have open. These are really piss poor shots. Let's try and get this guy. Okay, that's not too bad. And, you know what, if we can pistol down this one, then I'll be happy with that. Okay, we took down pretty much 66% of the threats. Which means, the last one is ours. Which means, you know what time that it is to right now? It's time to fucking suppress and get some... Get, get a stun off on a Muton, which would be really in my favor at this point. Alright. So, what we're gonna do right now... This guy's the one with the stun gun, however, I don't want to move him up too far. Everyone gets a smoke grenade today. So, this should make it very difficult for him to hit me back. Now, the, my main worry is that he'll try and smoke grenade me, and he didn't even try. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can get a dash in there. And then on the next turn, we'll be able to... Because, as it stands right now, I don't have many cover opportunities. Uh, tried, should have tried to move him up a little bit more. Alright, well, uh, I think I should try and laser pistol him, and that will do a good 5 damage to him, and then we'll pistol him down with some other guys, and when we get him weak enough, we'll basically be hurting him. And he, he won't be happy about that. Uh, let's see. Can we, can we get a suppression shot off here? Oh shit, I can't. Alright, well, here's the plan. Oh wait, it might crit actually. Well, that's three damage. It's okay. We need to, we can, we need to weaken him somewhat. Eh, I'll try again. Hopefully not crit. Excellent! Okay, leave him there, leave him there, leave him there. Leave him just like that. Okay. Now... Here's the next issue. Okay, we need to go... We need to maybe... Overwatch him. I'm trying to think of a good place to cover... Up with, uh... Mr. Shiv. Mr. Shiv's move has to be the next one. I th here's the problem. I just I don't have a lot of options. So I can I can go like directly in front of him. He might be kind of mad at me for that. Yeah, you know, let's move him here and then try next turn to move him actually into full. Okay, so so here's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna move this guy over here. And I'm going to overwatch with just the pistol. I, I can't suppress any more than I am right now. Let's move some of these guys out. I don't want to trigger anyone else right now, so... But we can get one more guy over here with a reload. And laser sniper rifle, I know. He's going to have to... By the way, apparently hunker down only works when you're actually in cover, so... It's just something interesting to note that I didn't know. Okay, so we're trying to capture him alive. It's a very difficult thing to do. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, more mutons on our flank. Alright, let's see. We can get over there and we can go get a nice stun off. Uh, let's, let's see if we won't need him. Okay, we have an RPG opening. And we can hit pretty much all these. It's a good thing I saved that fucking RPG. Aren't you guys glad I did this? So, we're taking these fuckers out now. 
As you would imagine, they're not too pleased with that. Alright, let's see. Laser pistol, no. We need to bring out your sniper rifle. 100%, 165, 100. Okay. We got two shots at 100. So we'll make the most difficult one in the back there first. We unfortunately don't have a follow-up shot to make. But we can probably get this guy. And we can get the last guy with a nice little... Uh, who else do we have open? It, it would just be either Zhang or him, so let's try with Zhang first. Oh wait, uh, I should have grenaded him. Eh. Actually, I think I get another turn with him. No, I don't. This is a flank. Let's do it. This is not a flank. Luckily, I hit him. <laughs> Alright. Now, it's pretty much just up to... Uh, uh, sh ship, Mr. Ship to do the job he was made for. And he did the job he was made for. Wow! Good fucking round, guys. That went extremely, extremely well. I mean, this could have gone horrifyingly bad, but it was just like... Like, our team just pulled through. Let's just, let's just go with that. Alright. So, let's see what we got. We can go throw a grenade over a uh, battle scanner, like, up here or something. We won't be able to see that far. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll throw it on top of this. Here we go. Let's see what's up there. Oh, here we have uh, two contact. Uh, there's a cyber disc up there. Cyber discs we can't uh, we can't actually capture, but we can spend uh, a couple of turns getting everybody into a proper position. It's a good thing I didn't trigger him. All right, let's just reload everybody. And uh, oh, he, Mr. Ship is available. Uh, if I go over here, I might actually trigger him. So. Um, It might actually be best if we move our snipers onto this cover here and get a smoke grenade up there. Well, I'm trying to think of a, the best way to get my snipers some squad site high ground. And I'm currently inclined to say I should just go right here. Like, uh, get, I'll get my support over here. I'm sure my team would love uh. to get their hands on that thing. Okay, I, tr I triggered his overwatch. That's a problem. Okay, the game has now changed, unfortunately. We have no more rockets left. So we are going to suppress them down so we can get our turn. Because we get the we get the double range suppression. Alright, we got squad sights, uh, sniper shot, and we're gonna laser pistol. And the game changes slightly depending upon the situation. And he's gonna take a pot shot at my guy. And it's a miss because, yes. Oh, but that one wasn't. The suppression does give a little bit of a bit aim uh, penalty, which is really nice for me. Uh, but we can just kill these guys, pretty much. <laughs> 14 damage, critical hit. You know, Volkov can probably just finish this off by himself. Everyone else, just get, get into the Sky Ranger. He's got this. And that, that damages the other one a whole lot, which means uh, our good friend Sergeant Dan follows up uh, with a nice kill, hopefully. Oh, yeah, he apparently missed. Alright, well, uh, let's get... Uh, well, that's not a good place for him to go. I'm trying to think of the best place for him to get a shot, line up a shot. How far can uh, Triple Strike go? He can go into a position here, although I have not explored yet up there, but it's worth a risk. I think we got everything. Send me. 
and that finishes it. Nope, it, we didn't. We didn't actually finish it. So that's uh, valuable. Valuable to know. Does he have armor? I don't think I gave him the armor. It just occurred to me. This is a goose. Why didn't you come out with your armor today? Alright. Uh, we got some more aliens somewhere waiting. Alright. So, um, the best option right now is to start moving my snipers up. So, I'm gonna make sure he reloads. Um, this one can actually just stay here and, and like, I, I don't mind, like, I want to spread out my snipers because you get a, you get a be better firing solution basically, just like, uh, opposed to just keeping them, like, huddled in one place, you know? I, I just, I don't feel good whenever I, whenever I keep them in one place, so. Probably, uh, you know, I should probably give, uh, uh, not as a bit of a heal there. Alright, so let me get, uh, my sniper first up here and let me see if I can get a battle scanner off and that would work I think that won't be a line of sight block but I need to kind of I want to kind of have the inside of up here so let's try it out I don't know if it's the line of sight block it shouldn't be and it is so uh, that's unfortunate okay uh, that's my last battle scanner, so uh, we're gonna move this guy over here to get a bit of a, a scout off. Unfortunately, the only way I'm gonna get, uh, the only way I'm gonna see what's up there now is uh, by basically scouting it. Uh, let's see. Okay, Dan can just stay right there. I don't know why he doesn't have a circle around his name. It's kind of like flipping me out. Uh, let's see. Alright, and you just give you give our good friend a heal because I didn't actually equip him with proper armor. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, we got Zhang over here. Zhang will just dash up here. Okay. Uh, now, here's the problem. I could move my sniper potentially here. It's a fantastic position to take shots. The problem is, um, I, I can't be assured of the safety because they'll shoot up at him. So that's why he's actually going to avoid that area. So this guy is actually going to go and see where they are. Because they're over here somewhere, definitely. Here they are. Mutons. Okay. Uh, my sniper here does not have a shot. Uh, okay. So what needs to happen here is my snipers actually will need to move in. Uh, to get a nice little bit of a flank here. And if they go up this side, they'll be able to shoot down this, like, nice little corridor here. The only alternative is to possibly move them up here, but that's, um, that's riskier. There's also this corner. Now, I want to move them, I want to keep them as far as, away as possible. Alright, so, this one, uh, so this guy's gonna move right here. And I'm gonna see if I can get a, a shot off at the very end. Nope, he can't. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be at least two turns until my snipers are completely in position. Uh, so one will move there. So I have a couple of options right now. Um, I could retreat back because this was his first move. Because uh, you know I don't know if I want to play the odds here, especially in half cover, uh, and I probably do not. I'm gonna wait for my snipers to get into position, and then I'll open fire. Um, if by chance they they decide to move in beforehand, the rest of my guys will be in Overwatch, and they will be completely prepared and utterly prepared to handle them. Unfortunately, it looks like that guy's actually gonna get shot off, or someone else sees him, which I find to be kind of odd. What's he gonna shoot at? Apparently, 
he was not in proper cover. And he's dead in one hit. That's unfortunate. It went right through there. Those fuckers have range. Alright, well, that's a loss of a heavy. I was I was thinking this whole time that I had that in the bag. Alright. That's half cover, that's not worth it. This however is, so we're gonna go all the way over there. That was fucking I, I I'm sorry, I didn't I really didn't expect that in this case. Alright. I thought that I thought they'd just be completely out of cover. Apparently, that's that's a really useless piece of cover. I'm gonna learn that for the future. Okay, we got a five damage shot. What the hell? He's he's holding his sniper out like a fucking pistol. Okay. So, uh, we have two guys with blood call, which means uh, they intimidate now. Oh, they were they were they were very intimidating before, but now they're even more intimidating. Okay, so this one doesn't even have a shot off. Um, here's the problem: if I go here, I take the risk of uh, get him getting a flank. Um, there's not a lot of good choices here, unfortunately. But I think what I'll do is I'll poke my head out and I'll see what, what we're dealing with. Okay, we got a shot on this one. That's one down. And I'm pretty sure that the last one is just like right here, perhaps. We don't really know where he is, actually. Actually, I, I, I really don't have an, any idea. Okay, we're gonna be moving up. I know it's half cover, but um, he's gonna have to. Oh shit, uh, that's not good. Oh, didn't work out for him. Mission accomplished. Well, rest in peace, Nonners. You'll forever rem be remembered as the guy uh, that I thought was safe but got critted. Uh, from behind, I think. Sometimes you lose people, and that's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to be replacing most uh, a lot of my soldiers as I go along. Uh, but, you know, people like the snipers, I, I really do not want to lose. And I, I'm more safe with them than I am the heavies. And that's why I kind of, like, I neglect to bring along assaults. But uh, it looks like Triple Strike got his upgrade. And, you know, some people are telling me I should consider getting rifle suppression instead of revive. Because I already have one with revive. But you know what? I'm going to do both with revive, because it would really suck if I lost one of my medics and then I couldn't revive him to use his med packs. So, you know, I already have heavies with suppression. Well, I have one heavy now with <laughs> suppression. See you later, Nonners. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. You get a plasma rifle. That's That's really good. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, so panic we in Mexico decreased. In touch, Commander. Wow, Europe's pretty fucking pissed. Sorry, Europe. Sometimes uh, guys gotta. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I really need a foundry. Foundries are like seventy-five bucks. I don't know. Do I have any friggin' things in the gray market to sell? Let's sell some muton corpses. It's not it's not enough though for me to warrant selling. Yeah, I got nothing I want to sell here. I, my apologies. I, I I can't I I've I've already sold way too many corpses to justify selling even more. We can sell those stupid aircraft I didn't need. Okay, he wants 15 alien alloys, he'll give me 135 for that. That's a much better deal. That's better than selling, giving them my other crap. So, you know, I have plenty of al alien alloys, so he can have those. And with that, we're gonna go make, uh... No, we're gonna make nothing, actually. Actually, no, what we're gonna do is, um... Damn. Oh, I thought I could make an Illyrium generator, but that costs a lot of money. Because that's what I was thinking of doing, was I was gonna make an Illyrium generator here. Um, and then I would have been connected to a steam vent. And I still want to do that, actually. So, uh... 
Sorry, guys. I guess I'll have to wait. Because that was my plan, because it goes, uh... Because if you have a thermal generator, it goes two, two, plus two power for each adjacent power facility, and this is plus two as well. It's very, it's expensive and requires some Illyrium, but, you know. And UFO power sources. Technically, the, the vents are better, but I simply don't have enough vents, so, you know, I was going to get one uh, Illyrium thing. Yeah, I see I have, like, five power sources, so, you know, it should work. We'll wait. Hey, and we got a fighter research, which means now we can do some more research. And now we have the firestorm, uh, which means now we can actually go to plasma weapons, or we can get possibly titan armor. And with that last terrible mission, I'd be incl almost inclined to. Uh, so that's what we'll do. I know these are all priority. As I said, next month we're gonna do them all at once. It's gonna be like this one epic episode you're gonna watch of me just doing all the research all at once, so you, you'll, you'll love it. Because you know what, we're almost at the end of the month, look at this, we're 15 days away, so it's not worth it. And here we have a UFO, so let's get Raven 10 with the Phoenix Cannon out there. Let's fuck up some UFOs, son. He has to get a little closer, but... Oh yeah, oh, sexy. Oh, you sexy beast. Oh, I love you. There we go. Oh, here we go. So I guess Zilch is going to be joining us next time. Uh, and and also properly arm, armor whoever the uh, other person on the team is. So until then, we'll be watching.